It's savage season, boys. Now, of course, we're back with another video. The Packers have traded up to pick 21 to grab Darnell Savage. Now, the biggest thing that comes to mind, obviously, is being undersized. He's very fast, though. Very fast. High motor. Um, the biggest thing for me, though, is was it worth a trade-up? You had Nasir Adderley up there. You know, there's still some really good safeties left that uh, you can get high second. I think the Packers' whole best available approach really didn't come to you know to, to the truth. I, I think Rashawn Gary was a decent pick, um, considering what was there. Kind of was a best available player. I don't think this was. I really don't think this was a best available available player. It seems like we're going potential rather than actual best available player. I think they could have easily sat at 30 or even traded up to grab Hollywood Brown or even DK Metcalf. I know he's kind of overrated or overhyped, not overrated, but I think someone like him would be amazing in the Packers' new scheme. Uh, I think, you know, the Packers haven't had a deep stretch the field guy since, like, Jordy Nelson, and Jordy Nelson, he was decently fast, but nowhere near Metcalf speed. Obviously, the agility, you know, if it is actually true and it wasn't, you know, some, you know, drill issue, they're saying that it really wasn't actually true to what he ran, you know, in, in the drills. Uh, he wouldn't be nearly as agile as Jordy was, you know, catching these sideline plays. But I think Metcalf would have been a better pick if you're going to trade up there. I think this, I think Darnell's great. Uh, you know, he's great at, le you know, lurking for picks. Uh, he's decent in coverage, apparently. Um, very fast. That's that's the one thing that does, other than being undersized, that does stand out is being very fast. Uh, would that get him in trouble, though, you know, relying on that speed more than actual talent or actual knowledge? Um, obviously, the size is going to, you know, keep coming into play because it's going to be harder for him to tackle if he gets lined up with a, line, uh, a tight end. You might as well just call that play over. You know, you're going to have to double that or... Basically, the play is blown because he's just not going to be able to cover a tight end. It's just not going to happen. Um, a high motor, which is nice. You know, the Packers honestly sometimes do seem lazy on defense. I gotta, I gotta admit, uh, the biggest downsides to uh, to Darnell Savage really does seem to be his size. Um, I feel like he'd be a decent return man, but obviously we don't <laughs> we don't need safeties being return men. We we already have enough need there. But speaking of guys, you know, we have Josh Jones. Is he is he going to play inside linebacker? Is that is that what we're doing? We obviously need coverage. Maybe that's where we're going 44. I would be willing to bet. Obviously, we've we've really went far off of what I thought we were going to do. But I'd be willing to bet pick 44 if we don't trade up again is going to be a, a wide receiver. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be some sort of slot type guy, I would think. I would think uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling has done enough especially with a guy like Allison and, uh, you know, if he has to become the number two. I think those two guys have done just enough to make it where we don't really need a true number two wide receiver. We just need to keep building uh, what we already have, especially with a new scheme. Um, but I would love to see a slot wide receiver here in the second round. Maybe the Packers trade up again. Maybe you see a third Packers video from me tonight. It would not shock me. It really wouldn't, you know, just to make sure we get a wide receiver because it's got to be the next very next Packers pick is either going to be Mac Wilson or, or a wide receiver, so you can mark my words on that one. It has to be, unless one of the other linemen slips, I, it's got to be one of those positions, I think. I love the choice of a safety. I just don't think we needed to trade up for him. I think it was a reach, I have to admit. Um, if you're you know, you're a Packers fan, let me know what you guys think of the draft so far. I don't know. I, I, I had a better idea in my head pre-draft of what I wanted, I knew the players I wanted were going to be gone. I just knew it. Uh, of course, Noah Fant tw to 20 to the, the Broncos. I have a feeling the Packers were actually planning on trading up for him. I really do. But, of course, you know, the Broncos snagged him. I think they, the Packers really thought Denver is going to take a quarterback at 20. You know, there's still a quarterback on the board. 20 is, you know, it's kind of a late first. It's not the biggest risk in the world that, you know, a, you know compared to 10. Maybe they thought Hassan's going to was going to be there at 20. I don't know. But... I really have to think the Packers were going to go Fant at at 30 or, you know, the trade-up spot. I don't know. I, I, I like it. I do like it. I actually think Savage is going to be a great player. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to see a guy that has a high motor that actually wants to win games, it seems. So I, I think the size thing is going to be a huge issue for him in the NFL. But luckily for him, he does have the speed 
to make up for it. Here's hoping to a, a really good first round. You know, the Packers have had some struggles lately. This should close the first round for Green Bay. Let me know what your team did. As long as you're not a Giants fan or even, honestly, maybe even a Packers fan at this point, you probably had a pretty decent draft, I would say. I think if I'm going to have to give the best draft move of, quote-unquote, the draft, I'm going to have to give it to the Steelers. I know maybe it's because I'm, I'm quote-unquote, salty that I wanted Devin Bush to the Packers, but trading up for so little, honestly, 20-10, to 10, trading a second round, like pretty much a mid-late second in a third round to get Devin Bush, a guy that they really needed, you know, with, of course, a guy like Shazier who, let's be honest, he's not going to play another snap. I think so far that's got to be the move. I kind of want to do a first-round recap, so enough of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe, like the video, follow me on Twitter, Drumpy Care. I'm sorry for bombarding you guys with videos. Might even have another one today. But I promise after this, you might see the normal schedule and then one more draft video or two more and that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see.